Let's talk a little bit about uh, Snowden. Uh, you obviously were the head of the National Security Agency on this broadcast uh, earlier this year. You said, when I asked you, was he a traitor, you said, well, he's a defector. Right. That was uh, the term that you used. Uh, he now tells us uh, in this interview that he was trained as a spy. Should we believe that? Well, the first impression I got from the interview is that young Mr. Snowden is a far better spokesman for himself than Glenn Greenwald is. It's a very impressive, uh, well-controlled, well-prepared performance. That said, Bob, if that had been a job interview, if that young man had been in front of me and saying those kinds of things about his experience, I would have been all over his references trying to confirm that which he had claimed because, frankly, it didn't have the ring of total truth in his describing the roles that he had had over the past seven or eight years. He says that uh, he has not met with President Putin of Russia. He isn't working with the Russians. Yeah. Uh, he had no connection to him. He said he didn't even bring anything with him yeah. that they could use. Do you believe that? Well, he said he didn't bring anything with him to Russia. I, I have a legitimate question. Did he bring anything with him to Hong Kong? And what happened to the stuff that he had in Hong Kong? With regard to, to his contact with the Russian government, of course he's had contact with the Russian government. He may not have known he has had contact with the Russian government, but any responsible security service is going to be all over this guy. And finally, with regard to President Putin, he appeared on TV with Putin in a Russian Federation infomercial that, that Putin runs on a routine basis. He asked Putin a question. Now, I've got a follow-on question for Brian Williams there. Whose idea was that? Who arranged that? Why did you do that? What were you thinking? when you agreed to do that kind of thing for Putin. What uh, do you think that Edward Snowden has done irreparable harm, as some say, to the national security? And if so, in what way, General? Uh, unquestionable, irreparable, irreversible harm. Now, his first story out of the gate was the 215 program, the metadata program, that actually does impinge upon American privacy. There, there is a Fourth Amendment question there that we should answer as an adult nation. But why did he reveal that NSA intercepted the satellite phone of Dmitry Medvedev? Why did he tell the Chinese, and he did this personally, this was not through one of his intermediaries, why did he tell the Chinese that NSA was hacking into Chinese computers? Why did he reveal that Norway and Sweden cooperated with the United States of America in covering uh, the Russian uh, Federation? He claimed that no one has been able to show any harm that has been done. If he lives up to half of that resume, he claimed to have, that he was actually a spy and an intelligence officer, Bob, he would understand that there is no way the United States can reveal, without creating far greater harm, what it is we have lost. What is it he wants us to do? To go out publicly with a list of all the terrorist targets now that we're no longer covering because of the information that he's revealed? He says that he gave this information to journalists and it was up to them <clears throat> to make sure that the security wasn't damaged. Um, that in what way relieves him of responsibility? What, uh, what do you think uh, happens now with him? Do you think there's any chance that he'll be uh, brought back? Some people are saying, you know, he ought to be brought back, uh, somehow pardoned or given some sort of... Uh, do you see anything I, like I, that? I, I don't think so, and, and, and I hope that's not hope on my part. I hope that's a, a rational judgment. Look, there's, there's a young man in prison right now named John Kiriakou. He's in prison for 30 months because he revealed the name of one CIA officer to one journalist who did not further publicize that information. And by the way, that piece of information he revealed is, is graded confidential in our classification system. Confidential, secret, top secret, top secret code word. One fact, confidential, 30 months in jail. Snowden has revealed hundreds of thousands of data points up here at the top secret code word level. And we're supposed to give him amnesty? How do you, uh, well, how would you label him now? I, I still go with, with, with Defector. Um, he certainly betrayed the workforce of which he was a part. He betrayed his oath and in, in some ways betrayed his country. Uh, I'll, I'll hold back on the treason thing because that's a narrow legal definition. General Hayden, always good to have you. Thank you. Bob. And we'll be right back with our panel, so stay with us.